Hello everyone, um, welcome back to Japanese Mario uh, 64. Um, yeah, we've got enough to do this wing cap now, so we will. Okay, so we've got Hane no Suichi no Kosue Yokoso. Uh, Yokoso meaning welcome. Uh, you put it at the end, you put it after the location of the place. Um, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like the game's kind of loud. Let me just. Uh, lower that a little bit. Temporarily. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so the welcome comes after the place that you're welcoming someone to. Uh, hane means like uh, wings. Um, so it's just wing switch, course, welcome. Um, and then there's two in the middle, of course. So wing switch, course, two, welcome. Uh, Niji no ringu no mannaka no to no ue ni aru's akai switchi wo humo. Um, Niji is rainbow. Lingu is ring. <laughs> it's just English, isn't it? Manaka, we've covered a few times, just the very middle, the very center, very center of something. Uh, to is a tower. Like, well, this is a toe here. That's a tower. Ue, up or on top, in this case, on top. Aru, to be. Akai switchi, red switch. O, Fumo. Fumo is Fumu, which we've seen in uh, Once Fortress. Um, although, actually, the way I'm going to edit this, perhaps we haven't done Once Fortress yet. <laughs> uh, I have, but I'm going to edit it so that it's in a different order. So perhaps I will go over this. So Fumu means to press, basically to step on. To step on. And then Fumo is like the volitional, so I suppose it's like kind of kind of inciting us or inciting us to press the switch or sort of saying you know press the switch or let's press the switch or yeah something along those lines uh kono sekai no subete no akai buroku ga jitai ni naru uh so this world all red blocks jitai means like um well the, the kanji separately is like jitsu meaning reality and then tie is like a just mean it means body, doesn't it? So it's like to, to to have an actual body or to become solid. Or yeah, to actually have a physical presence, I suppose. Uh ni naru, uh, 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 become, basically. Just will become actually existent. <laughs> I guess. Sandan tobi de sora e tobi z de landing uh, so three level jump uh, through the use of or using a three level jump or a triple jump as we'd say in English uh, so it's you know there are three stages to the jump isn't it sandan tobi sora e tobi fly or jump to the sky launch to the sky z de using the z button Landingu, just meaning, you know, to land. Sosa wa hikoki no soju kan no yoni, maye ni tausu to sagaru. Te maye ni hiku to agaru. Mazu wa otameshi wo. So, sosa again meaning controls or the operation, the operation or manipulation or whatever. The controls. Uh, hikoki meaning airplane. Uh, no soju kan. Uh, that's like a soju kan is like the what's the word? Like a, a, a like the joystick, isn't it? Let's just have a look at that. Soju kan. Yeah, joystick. Okay, okay, joystick. So, yeah, soju kan, uh, planes, joystick, no yo ni, uh, the state of, or, yeah, the such, such as, basically, so it's kind of like the same way as a, as a plane's joystick, in the same way as a plane's joystick, or the same state as a, as a plane's joystick. Uh, maie ni tausu to, uh, 
kind of um, tilting or or yeah tilting basically isn't it tilting forwards sagaru to descend to go down temaya ni hikuto angaru temaya is a weird word <laughs> temaya why does that mean backwards in this case don't really know to be honest <clears throat> but it could be that temaya is a is like you know immediately like in front of you and therefore the control stick is like perhaps technically beyond that point I don't know it, it, does it kind of literally mean that you're you're pulling it to before where your hands are so if you're, you know, if your hand's on the control stick, you want to pull it to before where your hands are, and therefore it's towards yourself. I really don't know. That's kind of a weird word. I've, I've, I've not really got the hang of it that much. But yeah, obviously it means, you know, you to, to pull the, the control stick down towards your own body. So perhaps that's what temaya means, just towards yourself, maybe. I don't know. Uh, agaru, meaning to rise up, and that's like, that's transitive. Uh, sorry, no, that's intransitive, to rise. Uh, it's not raising something else, it's rising, so to rise. Mazu wa otameshi wo. So, mazu wa meaning first, otameshi meaning, you know, just a trial, like try it out is basically what it's saying. Uh, yeah, let's have a go. Sorry about that cursor there. <laughs> I kind of hate it being there as well. <laughs> Keep leaving it on the screen. Whoa! Yeah! Okay, nice. Uh, I just want to get the switch first. Oose! Yeah. Uh, Sora wo. Jiyu ni toberu hane no boshi no switchi wo fumimashita. Uh, so the sky uh, freely uh, toberu. Is that the potential form or is that just a different verb? Yeah, th I'm only getting the I'm only getting it as a potential form, so I guess it is. Yeah. The sky freely be able to fly um, uh, wing hat boshi is hat not switchi or humimashita so you press the switch of the wing hat that allows you to sort of be able to fly freely through the air I guess through the sky. Sekaiju ni aru akaburoku kara hane no boshi ga Sekaiju. This is like. Ju is the kanji for like inside. And in this case, when read like this, it kind of means uh, spanning the whole world, like worldwide, is, is basically what's going on here. So, you know, worldwide, all, 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 all of the red blocks that exist all over the world from, <laughs> so from those blocks, the wing uh, cap will uh, jump out, Tobi Dashimas will fly out. So when you hit the blocks, you know, a red red hat, red cap, red, red switch, uh, Red wing cap will come flying out of the blocks. Kokomade will save us to do. Hi, I will save. And here we go. Um, because we have quite a lot of time in this uh, in this uh, part, I guess we'll go through this level as well. Might even read the sign in here. 
Also, I skipped that text box just now because I I cover it in another video when I do when I do uh, Womp's Fortress. I read that text box then, so <laughs> I won't read it a second time now. Um, Peachy no kakure suraida e yokoso. So, uh, Peach's kakuru. No, not kakuru, sorry. Kakureru means to, like, to be hidden, I suppose? To hide, to be hidden, to conceal oneself, to disappear. So, yeah, kakure. Uh, kakure suraida. So, I don't know why this is called a slider. It's kind of weird. Obviously, in English, we'd just say slide. But it's the peaches, uh, the peaches. It's peaches hidden slide to welcome. Koko ni wa kupa ni mitsuke rare na katta oshiro no kakure star ga nokotteru. Um, so, uh, yeah, in here, or, you know, I yeah, at this place in here. Kupa uh, ni mitsuke rare na katta. So this is the again like the passive voice form of to find and then this knee when used with this kind of passive voice it's, it's like by cooper so uh not found by cooper uh castle uh hidden star uh is remaining or remains so there remains here a hidden star that was not found by Cooper. <laughs> I suppose you could uh, is 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 the best translation of that. Saka wo suberi hajimetara stikku maie de kasoku ushiro de gensoku dekido. So saka meaning hill or a slope. Saka wo suberi hajime suberu meaning to slide. And suberi hajimeru, I guess, you know, to start sliding. And then tara, making it into, um, you know, once you've completed this action. So once you have started to slide. Stikku uh, maiede, through the means of um, the stick forward. Kasoku, this meaning uh, to add. And then this is speed, so to add speed or to accelerate. Uh, ushiro de, so through uh, backwards or yeah, by means of backwards or tilting the stick backwards, which isn't isn't literally said, but yeah, through through backwards, gen soku, so re reduction of speed or decelerate or slow down, and then dekiru, like the potential form, you can uh, accelerate by tilting forwards or decelerate by you know, tilting backwards. Hayaku subereba, Hayaku subereba, star ga meets galu azuda. So, hayai is fast, isn't it? Hayaku makes it like into an adverb, so it's like quickly. Uh, if you slide, uh, this is conditional of superu, so if you slide quickly, star ga meets galu azuda, a star. Uh, be found should. So a star should be found if you uh, if you go fast. Um, and this is a probably quite an important difference to note. This is mitsukaru, which is like to be found. Mitsukeru is to find something. Mitsukeru is the transitive. Mitsukaru is the intransitive. Um, and this just kind of works. In Japanese, that's just how the language works. It makes total sense. It, obviously, it would sound a bit weird in English to say a star should be found. Um, we'd probably translate this <clears throat> more naturally as, um, you know, you know, you should get a star if you go fast, or you know, you should be able to find a star, or you you, you sh <laughs> again also should is kind of. A bit weird in, in the English, actually. It doesn't really work, does it? But yeah, anyway, that's pretty natural Japanese, just so you know. Obviously, it's a uh, bit, bit unnatural when translated to English, but, you know, they are different languages, so, yeah. 
there were going to be differences. And so I guess if I'm getting all the coins here, seems I'm... Oh, I missed one. Seems I'm... Oh, I missed the line. Seems I'm not really trying to get the... The, <laughs> the star that requires you to go fast. So I'll just get this one first. Whoops. And then we'll get the... Then we'll get the speedy one. Oh dear. Ugh. All right, let's go get the other one. Yeah. Got it that time. Wahoo! Oh, I thought I'd go straight into it. <laughs> but I didn't. <clears throat> kind of speeding through this a little bit now, actually. Um, we're going to have to get loads of random little secret stars to... Uh, Oh! <laughs> Sorry about that, I was meant to read that. I'm going to have to get loads of random little uh, stars to fill time for this video, I suppose. Um, let's have a look here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, actually, that's 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 kind of good, isn't it? Well, Shiro no Kakure star, so this is like the, the castle's hidden stars. And then we've just got the names of the courses we've done so far. I need to read this. I guess I'll cover the pause screen once we're in a course. Um, Sora ni hana... No, 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 no. Hana? No, no, no. Sora ni habatake hane maliao. Um, so, Sora is sky, so to the sky. Habataku is to, like, flap your wings, I think. Habataku. To flap wings, yeah. So habatake is the imperative form of that. Uh, and then hane Mario is just like winged Mario, I suppose. Uh, which we will do, of course. Waho! Probably didn't need to get it there, did I? <laughs> um, I really could have just. Oh, actually, maybe I can blast up high enough now and just go straight into the sky for some of these coins. Wah! Oh! What's that other one? There it is. I can't get it! Damn it. Better refresh. Uh, and then we have uh, one one not inu goya de. Um, a one one is the sound uh, that dogs make, basically, isn't it? That's the onomatopoeia of a 
of a, of a dog's bark, one one or one. Uh, so this is referring to chain chomp, uh, which is you know supposed to be a dog, <laughs> I guess. Um, and then inu is the word for dog. Uh, ko ya is the word for like a shed or like a you know I suppose like a hut or a shed or a, you know a small a small uh, yeah just a small little basic building for for. For whatever really um hut cabin shed or an animal pen it says so inu goya you know is just like a a, a, a dog house basically isn't it yeah kennel that's what i mean <laughs> i'm saying dog house yeah kennel um yeah kennel so one one's kennel and then debt why is it debt Interesting that it's dead because there's no verb with it. Inu Goya dead. Hmm. Maybe the, a verb is like implied or something. Didn't you know? I feel like it should be neat. I'm not a native speaker, of course, so I shouldn't be questioning it. But yeah, kind of weird to me that it's dead. Alrighty. Too high of a jump. <clears throat> We've got a lot of time left. <laughs> We've got a lot of time left. I might be able to do like Jolly Roger or something. Um, I was coming in just to check this. <clears throat> uh, kara deru. Uh, well, it's what I'm going to do anyway, so I suppose it's kind of good that I came in here, but yeah. Um, so from the course, like, exit or go out or leave or whatever. Kousu kara deru. Uh, o susume riaru. Riaru, I guess, is real, is it? Jugemu camera is the recommended, and Mario is the real, <coughs> or the real camera. Or you've got Jugemu or Susume or Stop Tomaru, which is kind of funny, isn't it? I like, kind of like that camera. Get everything unloading because it doesn't doesn't need to be in the game. Ah. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> I don't remember there being much text on in Jolly Roger, so I might just go and do Jolly Roger Bay now because <clears throat> we have time. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'll just do this star and um, this world uh, now <laughs> to fill up the video a little bit. Um, yeah, so we have Kai Zoku no Irie. Kai is a reading of the kanji for like ocean or the sea. And then Zoku is like uh, used for like, it's the kanji for bandit basically, isn't it? So it's like ocean bandits uh, or pirates <clears throat> or sea robber. And then Irie is like a... An inlet, I think, isn't it? Doesn't it get translated to? Inlet, cove, creek, bay. So yeah, Kaizoku no Iriye. So uh, pirates, pirate bay, basically. And then Chin Botsu Sen no Otakara. Otakara, uh, Takara is uh, treasure. And then O, I guess, is just an honorific. Um, probably pretty commonly used together, I suppose. And then Chin Botsu Sen is a sunken ship. <clears throat> the first, uh, the first character here means uh, means sink, and is read as Chin in this case. And then Botsu, I suppose that means like to be ruined in a way, fall into, hide, die, sink, disappear, drown. 
so yeah, basically together, I guess they both mean sink, and therefore it's like the sunken ship. Uh, this character is read Sen in this case, meaning boat. Um, usually read as Hunet when it's uh, when it's on its own. But yeah, Chinbotsu Sen no Takara, the sunken ship's treasure. <coughs> <laughs> the best music in the game, probably. Um, yeah, I said. Oh, I think I said this in like the Chinese, my Chinese videos of this game, which I probably shouldn't have made, um, so I'm not qualified to talk about Chinese. I can't even pronounce it, so. <clears throat> So I probably shouldn't have made it, but um, yeah, I, I find it strange <laughs> uh, that Dire Dire Docks is the level that gets credited with having this music on it, because, you know, this is like the first, this is the first level with the music, so it should probably, you know, it should be called Jolly Roger Bay's music, not, not, um, not dire dire docks. But it's strange that it gets credited with having this music when this is the first level to have it. Damn it. Go! Damn it. I might, uh, let's return the game volume. Hopefully it wasn't, like, too loud. <clears throat> I'm not going to be talking much now anyway, so. Dete koi kyodai utsubao. So, uh, deru, meaning to come out. Kuru, meaning to, yeah, to come basically. So this is like uh, come out and this is the imperative form. De te, just to be able to link it to the next verb. And then koi, the imperative verb, uh, the imperative form of kuru. So de te koi, get out. Come on out. Uh, kyodai utsubo. Kyodai meaning just like giant or massive. Um... Yeah. Hello? My friend. Chodai. That was weird. Uh, Kyodai. Huge, gigantic, enormous. So both of the characters mean um, big. Basically, Dai is big and Kyo is like giant, so it's just like massive. And then Utsubo, it seems, just means like eel, doesn't it? It's that, it's that eel that comes out. Um, there'll be a specific thing for it. Moray eel. Murayanid. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but uh, that's what the dictionary says. So, whoops, whoops. It's horrible. This this is just this is <laughs> this is horror horrifying for me. I I I, I don't like big stuff I like megalophobia or whatever it is. Um, and then combine that with being underwater, and it's just like that, that, that's like hell for me. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, nice. Okay, then we've got uh, Kaite Dokutsu no Otakara. So Otakara again meaning uh, treasure. And then kaite, we've got like ocean bottom. 
so the bottom of the ocean. Uh, Dōkutsu, just meaning cave. So the, yeah, the ocean's bottom cave treasure. Uh, yeah, quite simply. It's not really a lot of grammar to discuss in, in the star names, is there, you know? Uh, yeah, it's just a very short, succinct hint for the star, so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> fortunately, in a way, not, not much grammar. It's more of a vocab learning opportunity, I suppose, those hints. Blooming Ech. Uh, I've forgotten the order. Is it this? Okay, I haven't forgotten the order. Ah. Ah, oh, there we go. getting too many stars. I'm going to have like loads of little notifications coming up. Uh, Ukanda hune no aka coin. So here's the the other way of saying sh uh, boat or ship that I was saying earlier when it was chin botsu sen. Uh, this is hune just meaning ship or boat. Uh, ukanda is uh, 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 like a past tense or I suppose a, a completed tense of ukabu meaning to float upwards so it's you know that the, the the boat has floated up and it's completed doing so so it's like the kind of kind of this is past tense it's the the boat that has you know that has floated up not Aka coin, the red coins. Um, yeah, the uh, red coins of the floated ship, I suppose you could. You could translate it as to kind of keep the a similar wording to the Japanese. Um... It's the red coin star, so I'm going to get the 100 coin stars at the same time as the red coin ones. I think we can, like on every level. I'm going to start with the blue coins because they're worth the most. And then I don't have to go over 100 later. <laughs> more money. Nice hill. Sorry, Maz. He's horrible. Ugh, stay away from me. Okay then. I don't want that. Um. <clears throat> okay, here's one. Suppose I'll get this money now. Oh, 
I'll leave that one. Um, that's five. There's the last coin there. There's one over there, look. I see it. I see it. Nice deal. And I guess there should be 15 on these. So that will get me up to 100. Exactly. Which is what we want. Ooh. stars before I get down to the basement. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, <coughs> okay. Iwa no hashirae hitotobi. So again, we've got this like, you know, a single jump. Um, yeah, single jump, basically. Iwa no hashirae. So Iwa meaning like boulder. Or a big rock, isn't it? So the, like the big rock pillar, or the boulder pillar. Hashirai is a is a is a is a pillar, isn't it? So iwa no hashirai hito hito tobi. Hmm. So a single jump to the stone pillar. Uh, <clears throat> kind of interesting that it can be iwa. I'd expect ishi, but. You know, fair enough. If that works in Japanese, then, you know, go with Iwa. Right, dude? Open that cannon for us. Cheers, mate. Wahoo! Hoo! Yes. <laughs> and the last one, we're going to kind of cheat a little bit, I suppose. Um, Huki dasu mizu o kugure. Uh, huku is <clears throat> to blow, I suppose. Uh, huki dasu is to blow out, therefore. I hope <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? To spout out, to spurt out, to gush out. Yeah. Oh, it's intransitive, really? It's an intransitive verb because it's got dust in it I, I i would have thought that was transitive but it's not um <clears throat> anyway fukudasu mizu o kugure so uh kugure is to um yeah to sort of dive through isn't it i think we saw that at the start so it's like to yeah to 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 put yourself through something uh to dive through to dive through the spouting out water uh, mizu is water, fukidasu, as we just discussed, is to, to spout out or to blow out. <clears throat> so I guess, you know, the rushing water. Dive through the rushing water, which is uh, over here. <clears throat> and uh, you can get it by swimming, even though I think the designers wanted us to get the metal cap. 
I have done this before, but... There we go. Here we go! <clears throat> nice. Uh... Whoops. Um, I guess I'll get this secret star just to pad the video out a little bit more. Um, yeah. Usually my videos are, uh, you know, around 50 minutes. Which is probably a bit nuts, actually. Should probably... <laughs> should probably shorten them a lot. Okay. Here we go. What I might do now, actually, then, because we're a bit short of the normal video length, is I might just read this sign about swimming. There might be some useful grammar in here. Mizu ni hairu chui. Uh, so water in or to enter chewy chewy is um, basically means caution doesn't it chewy caution being careful attention warning advice yeah maybe it's a warning then so a warning about entering the water Oh my god. Uh, so, whilst you are diving, I suppose, Moguru is also another way of saying dive. I think this is more... <coughs> Moguru is probably more suited to... Um, yeah, diving in water. Whereas Kugu, Kuguru is to dive through something. Um, perhaps. Uh, yeah. So, whilst you are diving, in the continuous state of diving, shinu uh, hodo, to the extent that you will die, <laughs> kurushi is like, uh, uh, like, um, painful, or, yeah, painful in, 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 in I suppose, uh, in whatever sense you want, really. Kurushi can be like... No. Is it? Not, not really physical pain, I don't think. Kurushi. Let's have a look what the dictionary says. Painful, difficult. That's all it's given me. Which isn't really nice. It's not, not really good. <coughs> Kurushi. Yeah, I suppose painful, but not 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 physical pain. Just painful, like mentally or emotionally, or or like or as it says, like emotionally or physical. Or maybe physically difficult. Perhaps not. Emotionally or mentally difficult. Anyway, yeah, it's sort of along those lines. Natekimas, so it will it will become to the point. I suppose kuru usually kind of means that. Yeah, it it, it, it it will slowly like develop to that point. It will be it will come to a certain point, like gradually, I, I guess. So shinu hodo kurushku na tekimas. It will slowly creep up to a point where <clears throat> it's so difficult and and unbearable, I guess, that you know y you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, sui men ni agaru ka abuku wo mitsukete sawatte kudasai. Okay, okay. 
So Sui Men, this is like water surface, water, the water's face or the water's surface. Sui Men ni agaru, rise, rise up to the water's surface, or uh, abuku is a bubble. Abuku wo mitsukete, find a bubble. Uh, sawaru is to touch it or make contact with it. Sawatte kudasai, please like touch it. So make contact with the bubble <clears throat> and that will replenish your, your health or your air or whatever. Hito iki tsukemas, you can kind of obtain, I suppose, you can obtain a single breath. You can obtain a breath. Um, yeah. Oyogu toki wa eibodan. Swim, time, A button. So when swimming, use the A button. Um, Oshiteru dake demo susumi. Timing yoku osu to supido ga demas. Um, Oshiteru dake demo. So even merely uh, uh, in the continuous state of pressing or holding the, the A button only even uh, you will advance or progress you will make you know you will advance forwards you will propel yourself forwards i suppose susumi uh timing yoku osuto so well press you know if the timing is is uh, how can you translate this a bit literally if you press it with like good timing or if you press it well with timing uh, speed or ga demas. Uh, speed will uh, appear. Speed will come out. Like you will, you will produce speed, or or you will basically you will you will swim with speed. You will go fast. Speed or ga demas. That's kind of funny, that isn't it? <clears throat> Moguru toki wa stick wo maya ni taoshite eibodan. So, uh, diving time, or yeah, yeah, diving time, stick, uh, forwards, tilt, A button. So, tilt the stick forwards and press the A button to dive. Ukabu toki wa stick wo te maya ni hite eibodan. Uh, so float time or surface time when you want to, you know, come up. Ukabu toki wa stick wo temae. So again, I guess that means towards yourself. Uh, temae ni hi te hiku meaning to pull. So pull the stick towards yourself. E botan. Press the A button. Again, no verb. So yeah, it's kind of implied. Sui men ni iru toki wa jumpu shimas. I think this is still referring to tilting the stick, holding, well, well pulling the stick towards ourselves. Uh, it's saying um, at the water's surface uh, to be, or when you are, when you are at the water's surface. Uh, toki obviously makes it into time or when, when you are at the water's surface. Uh, jump shimas, you will jump. <clears throat> Junbi taiso wasurezu ni. <laughs> so preparation. <clears throat> excuse me. Taiso is like gymnastics, isn't it? Or I suppose it's like preparation stretches. So make sure you stretch before you go in, basically. Junbi taiso wasurezu ni. Wasurezu is like is kind of a negative verb form. Wasureru is to forget. Wasurezu is to not forget. And then this is a pretty common grammar form. Y you put like the zu form of the verb and then put ni on the end. And I suppose I suppose there's probably another verb that isn't stated, but it's like, you know, without forgetting, I suppose is simply what what you could translate it as. Um, and the implied verb is probably make sure that you do not forget. But it's very, there's, there's, there's not really ever the verb said afterwards, that there is not a verb stated, but I think it is implied. It's like wasudezuni, without forgetting your preparation stretches or whatever. <clears throat> All right, well, that's that. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of jumping around. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, kind of cleared Jolly Roger Bay a bit unexpectedly, but, you know, there you go. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, hope it was worthwhile. And uh, I'll see you next time.